What up, everybody? It's your boy, Bacardi, a.k.a. Get At This, at Jason Gray 503 on social media. Um, so this is a player, Max, in bottom left, playing as GDI. Supposedly, he's an old-time player that just came back about two weeks ago. Um, he has some idea of the game. I'm not sure if that's the truth. Um, if it is, he'll learn and come up to speed fast. If it isn't, it's one of those guys who plays a decent amount, but for whatever reason just doesn't get that good. So at the moment, he's more of a, a noob, but uh, if he keeps at it, he can learn just like anyone else can. So I've played him several times, uh, both with Nod and GDI, and from top right, I've done some bigger infrushes, five-ish refs, and played from there. So this game, I'm going to do smaller infrush, I think three refs, two halves, to be able to get some fast disruptors in them if possible but of course that's my idea to start with not get scouted but it depends what he's doing right so his build order and what units he has is going to dictate if I stay the course or not so here if you sell your second refinery you usually want to control your horrors and dump when one of them's at about half full which is three notches and I could have sent this infantry a lot earlier. Sending it at the third ref is a little too slow, especially if they're one or two refing. However, from my earlier scouts, you see that he's got a decent amount of infantry, including discipline, so more than likely he's infrushing and at the fastest doing three refs. I'm going to keep my infantry there as I bring my inf down and he starts to shift towards defending against it. How'd that guy sneak in? That's crazy. And then I'm going to bring that scout down there to look. So control the hard as much as you can. Probably going to get rid of this harvester. And then rebuild it. For money. But we'll see. Maybe not because I'm busy attacking. Yeah, it looks it's too close now. Now you really want to control your money as much as possible. You don't want really any downtime, especially if you're rushing. Think about this, it's, it's the economy control, the unit control, but um, if you have no downtime in building, you're just going to be that much more efficient than the guy that's having two or three pauses. So three ref, four, two hars. Pretty good build order if you don't have much pressure on you. You know, five hars on two refineries plus fast tech is uh, pretty strong. He has more infantry so just dancing around. So again he didn't send that many scouts so he doesn't know what I'm doing. He's delayed. I don't know what his build order is but he should have sent multiple scouts from multiple directions like I did. He should have sent his infantry rush a lot faster. He should have a bigger infantry rush because he just now got a radar. And because he hasn't seen my base he should be expecting a rush, especially if I'm not that big an inf and I'm not attacking with him. So, you know, you got to start guessing a little bit, educated guess, on what the heck is my opponent probably doing. If I don't have him scouted, he doesn't have that big an inf, you know, what would I do if I'm not scouted and I don't have that much infantry? Well, I'd probably be doing a Dissa rush or an MK rush or something like that. Ooh, I let that scout go in. That was stupid. So he's only got four hearts too, so I don't know what he did. Four ref, that's it. Oh, he did go tech, though. Alright, so sending one disser next to his base. Here, bring the other one. I'm broke and need to defend and attack at the same time, so sold my service, although it's nice to have it. So here I'm just pick off what's open. So he should be spreading out his titans. He should have at least a SAM up. You can't be going just blindly two disruptors. And if you do have four titans like this, which is a good thing, he should have them spread out. And, uh, you know, as he sees my base or saw that or heard that coming out, he should have at least an engineer. And then just going to pick them apart and win. Okay, so what do we learn from here? You have to send early scouts from all different directions to try and see their base or at least get an idea of what they're doing. If you're doing more, if you're doing three refs or more, you should be sending your infrush early, like after selling the second ref at the latest two and a half refs in, and using that to either one, attack with, and or scout, or two, 
pressure them, see that they have a lot more inf, and then back up. All right. Um, if you don't have your opponent scouted, especially if they don't have that much infantry, then you need to build some defense before going tech. So a couple Sams in bottom left, a couple more Titans or and an engineer, uh, and while fighting really hard to scout me. Okay, so he didn't get anything there. There's a bad placement, but check this out. When he's gonna go place them, you grab your units. You want to make sure you click on the disruptor as soon as it lands. If not, it might start shooting carryalls. So with your Titans, I grouped all of them. I clicked on the disser. I thought he was going for the war because I'm not sure why he land there going for the MCV, but nonetheless. Let's take a look at what he could have got, although he was already dead. Let's just see. So he's flying in, okay. He's got them grouped together. I mean, I got an RPG, a Sam, and a bunch of Titans and some Imp. Nothing is that open. This bottom right refinery is wide open, though, so he could put one of his disruptors here, or both of them, and definitely get that. He could put one here, uh, which is going to shift me, take some of my units to go at it, and keep the other one flying around. And since there's only one Sam, he could fake one or two buildings. So he could land one here. I'm going to bring my my Titans and stuff towards it to try and kill it. He'll get me to sell this ref. At the same time, he could fly this. Um, you know, t I guess he has several options. He could fly this over back here and see if my, my titans follow, my titans go this way, and then all of a sudden he comes back down here and lands and gets this refinery as well. If they don't follow, he could land over here and try and get the MCV, although with this amount of titans and RPG and uh, engineer, pretty much everything is guarded except for this refinery. Now he could land two of these somewhere and get almost any building except for the MCV if he wanted. Um, he could land back here and get the, the war. So yeah, but I'd land one here, I'd float the other one around and see if it makes sense to land it, if not, just save it. And now we're just talking about if he was still alive somehow. So I click on the MCV right there, or the DISA right there, click on that one. I clicked repair on the War Factory because I thought that's what he's going for. Anyways, uh, that's a quick one guys, so don't be like Max, at least not yet. And Max, if you watch this, um, make sure that you do the things we talked about. Scout, anti-scout, send your infantry early if you're build, doing an inf rush. So three refs or more, you send the inf rush. If you're doing two refs or less, you don't have to worry about sending them. Um, if your opponent's unscouted, you got to scout them first before you start building too much offense. Unless, yeah, before you build too much offense, you have to have enough defense in your base. And you have, almost have to predict that the attack is coming. So that's what we got, guys. See you in the next one.